Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! We're back in charge of Saz and Lightning. Where are they going? You're not going to tell it's us, are you? not massacre. Well, yeah, Most I could have told you that. Most people won't even live long enough to die on Pulse. That was the idea. Well, yeah. They had what? all the guns on you and everything. What, you couldn't logic. figure it out? They conjured up the purge to eliminate a threat. And, well, I mean, yeah, I could see why. Why carry the danger all the way to Pulse? Why not just stamp it out here? Well, they could have taken a nuke to the city. Execution, that would have done the trick. masquerading as exile. Would have been a whole lot cheaper, too. That's all the purge ever was. <sighs> Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap like that? They have all the guns, and then make it illegal you, for you to buy them. You knew this was going to happen? Well, Saz has guns, but he probably took them off of some soldier. The Purge was Psycom. Private Sanctum troops, not the Guardian Corps. Psycom, yeah. Psycom, Guardian Corps. It's not Corps. my fault. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? Well, no, we were police officers. Pulse Foul C and their Lassie are enemies of the state. Tell a okay, soldier to kill so, an enemy, and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? So Falci and Lissy, they're bad guys, Couldn't basically. Shoot. Got himself shot instead. I don't know. Some people say they lay on the jargon you? a bit thick in this huh? game. I, I don't really shoot. see it. You pull the trigger. I mean, there's Falci, Lissy, and that's pretty much Fine. the big Forget part I of ask. the jargon. There. Once you figure that out, the rest is pretty easy to figure out. You know, rebellion against an empire. You know, I mean, okay, pretty simple plot. I mean, yeah, they're uh, sending giant robots at us, but looks like it's boss time. Okay, this is a uh, new guy, Myrmidon. Pretty much same thing as the first few boss battles. Just to go with auto huh. auto battles for attacks now. If Saz gets down to about under 100 HP, I'd recommend using a potion. If I didn't say so before. Oh, wait, no, 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 not that, not that. Uh, uh, item, potion. If I didn't say so before, potions work on all parties. So, now you see how I'm building up the chain gauge in the upper right there? We've almost got it. Every time you hit it, it boosts up a little bit. Now, once you stagger an enemy, it raises the chain bonus by 100%. So, it multiplies all your damage by that amount. So, right now, it's, uh, we're more, a little over doubling our damage. Well, that's pretty nice. Come on, I can get him. Yes, got him. So that's why you really want to build up the chain gauge. I know I explained it earlier, but I figured, well, this is probably a better example for you. So. Andrew. I just, <laughs> I just always find it amusing how they, robots when they die, they all make that noise. Huh? It's a fire alarm. Either that or a fat guy in a really loud microphone. Borg cube? What's going on? Okay, now this is something that they don't really say so directly, so I'll just tell you. Uh, they explain it in the manual, I guess. Or the, uh, what is that? The uh, data log. Cocoon is, relatively speaking, a moon. Sarah. That's not how you spell Sarah. Well, it's better than Sala. Just Why do they have to change the spelling like yeah. that? Right in there. But anyway, Cocoon is basically like a hollow sphere, moon thing, whatever. And Pulse is a the actual planet itself. But everyone lives up here, apparently. So. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, your mom's still alive. Oh, I'm sorry, Hope. Oh, she took off all our clothes. And it turns out she's a lost jungle girl. Sort of. Something like that. Well, Here. there we go. Here, you have the gun. Merry Christmas. You don't have your mom anymore, but... It's too much, isn't it? What is? He seems to be taking it pretty well so far. Ciao. 
Bye! Uh, you Wait. get to deal with your grief all alone. Or I could just drop the gun. I'd take the gun with me. You Sell said it, it made you happy when I smiled, didn't you? Well, that really, and the nice rack. I was afraid. I was always afraid. Be afraid. Be very afraid. No. No, just kidding. So, that's, uh, what the hell is it? You gonna tell us? So, how do you figure that Pulse Falci is different from the Sanctums? Oh, they got different Falcies? All things being equal, I just as soon keep one. Maybe they're not all bad guys. Hmm. We'll learn Time more about all that later. Hey, hey! Hey, hang on! Geronimo! What the? Hey! Well, what are you gonna do? No parachute or anything. Oh, she fixed her boots. Great. Whee! Damn. Well, there we go. She can do it, so can we. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to work out too well for you. You don't got the boots and everything. Whee! Oh. oh, there we go. So much for the chocobo. Where are they going? Game? They going in? No? I guess they're not going in. Well, at least Snow made it in one piece. And come so did on, Godot. Come on. We got all our party members. Or, well, there's still a row, but. Oh, quit whining. You're a Final Fantasy character. You can survive falls harder than that. What about the others? Ah, well, look around. They look like they're they dead to die. me. They didn't die. They couldn't have died. We're in Final Fantasy. They can't have people die. Yeah, just shake it off. You're young. Hey, get a grip, man. What's wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? No. No. Get him home. Hmm? Get who home? Oh. Ah. Yeah. I guess she didn't quite tell you that, did, did she? She could have told you her name, but then Tells we wouldn't have half the plot to the game. Well, no, not really. But. Catch. Thanks for the gun. What the? What are you doing? What's going on? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to uh, be a hero. The gun? <laughs> uh, She's waiting okay, there, she? what's... Your lovely that's not to be? funny at all. What was Isn't the point of that? time you picked her up? Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Save the girl. Rebel against the empire. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get our run. <laughs> There's our ride. All right. Let's just steal it. <laughs> Say. That's now a nice bike. I like how they have the little treasure sphere floating in the background there. Nice touch, guys. Okay, so let's go oh, grab this treasure here first. And we get a power circle. New uh, weapon for snow there, so... Yeah, it's a little stronger. It lowers his magic a bit, but we don't have any magic, so I wouldn't worry about that. So, okay, stick with the power circle. There you gonna go. ain't going to stop us. Uh... What does that even mean? Well, anyway, so I was talking about Cocoon and Pulse. When they were talking about, like, sending us from Cocoon to Pulse, that's what they mean by that. They were going to send us to the planet below and get this hidden treasure. Okay, it's not really a hidden treasure, but come on, viewers. This is as hidden as they get. So, yeah, no more invisible treasures. When I was your age, we couldn't even see all the treasures on the map there. there. They are. And we liked it! So I, I guess instead of sending us down Stay to Pulse sure. or whatever, they're all right. gonna oh my God. kill right. everyone for some reason. Very, Go. very quiet. Yeah. Or, I don't think yelling helps. You know? With the machine gun fire, I, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe if you have a sword, you know, but when you're standing like 20 feet away, some, some guy yelling sound. at me doesn't scare me as much as Where's the, the uh, machine gun fire. 
They don't even have radios on this thing. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay. Hey, Godot. Yeah? Go on. If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? Well, I thought we were going to save the world anyway, so might as well. Something on your mind? No, no, I was just jacking you with you. you got plenty of time for thinking on the way, hero. Yeah, I mean, you actually have an HP bar. I have no idea how much HP I have. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird looking bike, but... Okay. Ready! Go! What is this, F-Zero? That was a good game back in the day. Not a huge fan of racing games. Mario Kart was cool. I heard they got one that's going to be like one of the launch titles for the 3DS, but eh, none of the other launch titles really interesting. Yay! They're all alive. Don't shoot. Snow. Yeah, we stole some bikes. Since when do you care about kids? Well, you know, get old enough. Hey, Snow! You made it! Hey, yo. Yeah, we're still on one piece. So, Tis but the really scratch. That thing? <laughs> nah, I think I'm done. You're done when we are. Ow, what? <laughs> That's the one. What about him? You want his bandana? Didn't you have something to tell him? What, you got yeah. a, a crush on him or something? All right, then. Uh, what's going on? I... But, I... I'll go with you. Yeah, that's what? okay. He won't mind if I'm with, if I'm standing next to you. That way, he can look uh, at you. You have no idea what it was like. Oh. Uh, I was kind of there, dude. <laughs> the, the army's, army's no, no match, match for Nora. Nora. I meant the kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, All nice one, guys. For. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's keep it that way. All right. Never gonna wash this hand again. No. no. Just kidding. Why can't people ever have normal clothes? Or normal names for that. Hey. Now that didn't work too well. I'll swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. What is a vestige anyway? Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> You go skirt chasing, I take care of the kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on <laughs> me. Better be home cooking. When's the well, wedding? She does all the <laughs> well, Don't worry, none of you. Yeah, don't worry advice. about it, huge. Just wait till I tell you about my romantic dream. Nah. Nah, that was another. Catch you later. I like how they're doing this with the plot, how you see all the characters starting to go to the same place there, because they're all kind of after the palsy, so it's kind of a nice touch. I like that. But what awaits us at the Pulse Vestige with the Falci there? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!